Uh, it is 5.30, ladies and gentlemen. I now call the San Juan Economic Development Corporation, uh, what do we call it, this budget workshop meeting to order. It is Monday, August the 26, 2019. Our first item on the agenda is, uh, we don't have roll call yet, it's fourth. Um, it's, uh, Art Rodriguez, can you do our invocation, please? Yes, sir. Please take the invocation, bow your heads. Lord, as we are gathered here today in this meeting, we ask that you will be in our midst, help us to make decisions and be that will be pleasing to you. Help us to be able to discuss the matters at hand in a reasonable way and to be willing to give up having our own way. Lord, let this meeting be productive and as should be in all cases, in all areas of our lives, help us to keep you at the forefront of our minds as we do the work set before us. Amen. Move on to our Pledge of Allegiance. Let's start with the U.S. flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, legal counsel. Come on in. <laughs> We'll follow with the Texas uh, flag. We don't have a Texas flag here. Oh, yeah. uh, honor the Texas flag. Palacios, the uh, interim Texas Attorney. Buenos City Manager. Art Rodriguez, CDC Director. Marco Villegas, City Commissioner. Arturo Guajardo, Board President. Garza, Board Treasurer. Pedro Contreras. Thank you. We'll move on to our only item on the agenda. Well, we got A and B. It's discussion of possible action regarding San Juan Economic Corporation budget for the fiscal year 2019-2020. We all received uh, packets, I'm assuming, with our budgets in there. I don't know if you all had time to review. Mr. Uh, Rodriguez, will you be presenting the budget to us? We'll take it page by page, or will you be doing it together with our finance director and our city manager? I'll uh, present it page by page. Okay. And should there be any questions both that, that I can answer, then city manager and uh, finance director is here as well. The, um, the budget workshop sheet, the count summary, uh, begins, of course, with the uh, revenue of sales tax. And uh, as indicated in the meeting of August the 12th, we, we had an additional workshop to follow up, and uh, we presented the thought that we would be starting off with a budget with $980,000. Uh, subject to, at that time, to uh, two months of, uh, of uh, revenue that was still pending. It is proposed that right now, at, uh, for 2019-2020, in the amount of $980,000, if you'll continue to see uh, sales tax that gets deducted in the amount of $10,000 is right so underneath that number. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes, sir. So, so that means in my, I was looking at this whole, the wording, the language and everything, the way it's laid out. So are we meaning like estimated? Is that estimated budget the, or proposed? Like the, we're asking for that, but this is a revenue sheet, no? We are proposing to receive the revenue in the amount. Uh, the revenue has been studied by the finance director. Uh, it is projected. I'm kind of guessing that that's how much we're going to be, is going to come in this year. Yes, sir. It's an estimation, right? Yes, it's an estimate. So we're proposing that this is, and whatever estimated is going to be our proposed, I guess, is how we read this. So this, I always see this, uh, yeah. when it's revenues, it's always estimated, estimated. And yeah. It's estimated and actual revenues. Estimated, actual revenues. Here I'm seeing total budget, total activity. Total budget, total activity. I'm assuming that that's, how, that's what it is. It's estimated and then actual, maybe? Final. We have the first reading uh, for the, toward the final, and then you have the second reading as the final. Uh, and it is all, all, all of it is proposed revenue that's coming in because we won't get the readings until 
every month comes in a reading on, on sales tax interest. So that's what we anticipate coming in, 980000 Sorry for interrupting. I just wanted that's, to that's dig right. right into it. Well, I got another question as well, um, Mr. Go President. Ahead. Now, uh, this is a workshop setting, so we don't have to be too formal. Okay. Let's just dig into it. Maybe it was um, s summaries or work, uh, budgets I've seen before, but I used to, I, at least I think, remember a hotel motel tax. Was that ever part of the EDC, or am I wrong? It always should be, yes. It should be. Depending well, I don't on. See a, a line yeah. item here. Uh, this, this was a question I had, but. I don't know if it's captured under category here before me. No, sir. We do have a hotel motel, but it's under the city. Yeah. Not, 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 not ADC. Heads and beds is always referred to as an economic development uh, venture, right? You have an activity. You hope to capture it under a certain amount of heads and beds, as is referred to often, motel. But uh, if the city is capturing it in their budget, then... We should be able to provide and say, look, this event, this particular event that took place brought in so many people into the city, and it should be captured through the hotel motel tax, and this is how it's referred to. I have to interrupt here because the reason why I, I, this comes to mind is because I remember working with that hotel motel tax, and maybe it was a city end of it back then when, when I was on the commission, but there are some restrictions on how you utilize those funds. Am I right? That's that is correct. correct. It, uh, it goes back to only about 10 can be utilized, and that is by, not only by procedure, but that is by really by, by state law on, on it, economic development ventures, and this is how much we got, hotel, motel tax, this is how much was, was accomplished, and you can only do like a certain percentage for an event, you know, and in this case, it would be 10%, and you can address it if, if you feel different. That's, that's, that's it. That's for as long as you've been here, it's been in the city, not the EDC. That is correct. I've been here for going to six years, and it's always been under the city. Okay. okay. Next one. I ha next question I had was in the revolving loan. That one I know for a fact it's been in the EDC, and now it's back in the city. Well, the the city is taking care of the revolving loan. Yes. One time I know it was well, a long time ago. It, well, so if you guys don't know what that one is, is it's like a small business loan, and some some businesses have taken advantage of that. So we we're we're not going to handle that at all. The EDC part of it. The uh, other EDCs, it's it's ventured into get together with the small business administration, and they do get together. They discuss small business loan opportunities, and there's an option. Uh, some EDCs handle the small business loans, but uh, in the city. It has not been handled that way. Is that correct? Well, I will be well, getting what I, what together I've with small business. He took a role in 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 and actually uh, lending out the money. But then, for some reason, since I've been here, the city the city has been taking care of the revolving loan. It's just basically all we do is is we haven't been giving out any loans, but we've been receiving payment. Yeah. The reason why I bring that up is because I think it needs to be, my opinion, should be a little bit more active. And I don't know if the city should be the in. That's up to the commission. Obviously. I know that you brought that up in the past meetings. It's just another way of promoting economic development. Yeah. Yes. Said that. So that'd be something to look at. Yes. The road. Maybe perhaps taking it over again and opening it up again for people to actually get loans. We have been collecting loans, right? As long as, as long we, as we have been default. collecting, but there are, I think, maybe one or that defaulted? two that uh, defaulted. There should be a remedy for that too, right? On the default or no? And the, uh, and the contract when they lent out the money. I mean, it's something to look into, I would think. But right now we're on the budget, right? Yeah. So that's going to uh, be something different. Yeah. If I may, I, I have been in contact with okay. Angela Burton, who is the, uh, the regional director for SBA. And uh, I discussed it with her. And whether the city chooses at, a, at any given time and the board uh, considers it and wants to take it over, then I would be able to present what the options are. But if the city's handling it, it would they would through a vote. So. Clarify that. It is not the city lending the money out. It's just us administering the monies. 
As far as the uh, the, the the lending of uh, oh, businesses, duty, right? that's the EDC. So it's Not just a matter of right now you're just doing the administrative collection of the right. debt, boss. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I don't see an amount, an out, a line item. For example, mini grants. I see mini grants. Okay, I see an amount, but, but I don't see exactly. That's well, then, well, then we'll definitely have to follow up and see if we have to include it here. That would already constitute that it should be line item here for us as our partner. Though it's been, as far as I know, it's always been on the city side that we recognize item? that, yes. Well, but the EDC is the one that lends out the money, right? It used to be before we got here. So is the city lending the money now? No, we, we, we're not then lending we, money. We need to bring it back to the EDC side. We lend the money. You all you can handle the affairs of it, but we need to see it as a line item so we know how much money there is there. We spoke, we spoke to the agency, I want to say about maybe six, seven months ago, about the possibilities of maybe reinitiating this uh, lending practice. I'm not really sure what they told us because it was uh, Mr. Gonzalez, and I want to say the family Mr. René Villarreal, but they were saying, they, they told us that uh, that really was not available no more as far as us lending money out. That's what we're told at the time. We're collecting the money, and so I don't know what it was that earlier. They want to close the account. Uh, exactly what we're going to do is, is uh, we still. Well, if you could, Mr. Gonzalez, for our next meeting on this budget, could you show us the amounts out? The balances that are still due and the balances that defaulted. Right. Okay. Since we yep. lent out the money, or at least this entity did. Yes. Before our time. And if I may, so I, 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 I will continue the conversations that I had with Angela okay. Burton. Because yeah. they've been here six years, Lisa, and, and it was already before. It was a. When I when I got here, I remember uh, he was was taking a row, and then all of a sudden the the city is. Took over. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Mr. there was there was uh, an application process, just like the mini grant, but it was for a loan. Is basically what, how it operates. Some to consider, absolutely. But ahorita, for the budget purpose, at least so we could see the numbers, right? So we could see them for the next time before we op adopt the budget. And for the record, uh, Commissioner Lenny Sanchez has now joined us. At least I saw half of them walk in, but he's here. <laughs> <laughs> the new. The new okay. so, so, Mr. Rodriguez, this first page that, that you're looking at right now and presenting on is all revenues, right? This is all proposed revenues. It's yes. all revenues. Okay. Yes. That's all it is. There's no expenditures out of this. It's just all revenues. There I will make be. Make sure I'm reading it correct. Yet, thus far. May, the may first, I, yes, sir. Go may ahead, I say? Um, the 134. As transfer out, I saw that. That is that is the uh, every mo every month when we get the sales tax, we did get a a, a sheet from uh, Hilltop Securities that we have to transfer to another account. It's another EDC account, and that's where we make the payment for that bond. That was going to be my next question. If it's all revenues, I saw those minuses. Yes, the, the one forty one. The hundred and forty one thousand yes. and then the one thirty four. I transfer it every every uh month we transfer it out to another EDC account, a reserve account for it here? That other account? No. It's another fund and it's just it's only to pay the the, the bond payment. Is it anywhere in our in our budget here? That other account? No. The only where you see it is the one thirty four. Mm. The hundred and thirty four thousand. We can 000. also include it so we could see it, just so we can all see everything. And oh, attach no. it separately, but it, yeah, it will separate. generate the report, though. Right, right. On a separate sheet, just show us this. A, is, another this is, so another that fund. Can, so that we can track this 141 where it went to. For we, you know, it's over here. Okay, now we know where it's at. I got you. Uh, uh, Mr. Gonzalez, with the 134, you said going to a bond issue. Is that the 2007? No, no, no. No? It's, for, it's the refinancing of the... Uh, of the oh, Texas leverage. This That's is the refinancing for this Texas is leverage. series. A line item for Texas leverage here. This is series yes, twenty eighteen bond. I'm sorry. It should ahead. be a zero. This is. This is, has to do with what is considered the Texas yes. and still an ongoing deficit payment debt that has to be. There was a a, a deposit of. Uh, of really about seventeen thousand seven hundred dollars that was being that made. is correct seventeen thousand seven hundred forty three. This month, this coming month, it drops from from seventeen 
14, I believe, 14, on a 14, basis. 14 so that's $700. Your, that's just the total then, right? As the payment is made, but you're on the long term. I mean, uh, on But we didn't have service. any on 18 and none on 17? It's just zero and zero. Correct, because of the, the, the refinancing took place in, I think, in... But that's the result of our refinancing. Yes. That, that transferring yes. now. There is a, another one for 2016, 2016, and perhaps that's the one you're thinking about. That's the 2007. Yes. Now, if, if you look on three of nine pages, there's a, a loan principal Texas leverage fund. That is the a two amount seems to be about the 134 that you were referring to. Is that where the 134? No, that is for the 2007 bond that was refinanced in 2016, I believe. So the one on the first page is for 2016? The, the one on the first page is for the Texas leverage. 2018. That was refinanced. 2018. So you have a 2018 series and you have a 2016 series that was done, bond series. Uh, that's that's the Texas leverage front. has nothing to do with bond issues. Uh, the 134? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish up with this from first page, then, Mr. Right. Rodriguez. Let's go back. Okay, you just reviewed the uh, the minus one thirty four one oh eight. Okay, and it comes down to other financing sources and totaling to a minus one thirty four one hundred and eight dollars. So from the original nine hundred eighty thousand. on the first page. Yeah, that appears on page one under column 20, 2019-2020 proposed. It goes all the way down. Right, so, but and that's where I get confused because I see, uh, the, I'm assuming DEP is department, department request 930,000 and then proposed 835,000. How could, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. What, what does that mean? Well, it's because when we first started, uh, we weren't sure of the sales tax. So we were just kind of well, waiting for our sales tax to come in. Which so came in. If, I, if I put estimated, it'll sound better to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of request. Hopeful. Yeah. Right? I'm hoping for this amount. <laughs> I'm going to put, for my purposes at least, I'm going to put estimate, estimated revenue. And if it's 930 is what we estimated, but really what came in is 835 as of today, that's actual to me. Well, the, 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 eight, the, the, the 835 came in after the 134, after you take the 134. So they weren't, they, they were under when they were, they were estimated. Oh, you subtracted it. Yes. Yeah. After you I see it. I see it. Yeah. Yes. So, so if we look at 19. We had a total budget of one million twenty, and then the activity was seven hundred nineteen. So we deducted the one forty one and finished with seven nineteen. Do we have money in reserves, or is this all our money for the EDC? Do we had a fund balance of? Yes, we have a fund balance that we're fund, not fund balance yet. should have been in over five hundred thousand. Five hundred some thousand. And so it's it's not being reflected here. That no. was one of my questions. No, this, this is only this is only where we're budgeting revenues to come in in, in for twenty. For this coming year. Yes, right. and expenses for the coming year. But there is a, an existing fund balance out there. Yes. So, but that number's not here. No. Is it on any of these? So we can have an idea because. Since we're working on a budget, let's, give a, let's do this. We don't even know how much we have in the bank. No. So what is the fund balance? I've, I've got an idea because I went back and pulled the records from the state controller's office. And I can tell you that during the seven, 2017 that gets reported in February of 20, 2018, it was already reported, the unrestricted fund balance, which is the reserve, is 596687 Okay. That's, that's correct. 596,687. Does that sound about right, Leroy, to you or no? If it sounds, the 500 sounds about right, I gave Mr. Rodriguez a balance sheet. 
would gave them the number of what we had. And also, that's you, helpful. If you recall, the uh, it's on the audit as well. Correct. That's where I got uh, it from. Auditors, too. That's right. where they, they show us the fund balance. Okay. Well, what we can do is on the uh, monthly report, we can include that that item in there. Perfect. That, that that's always helpful. Because my next question was going to be, when we sold that two hundred thousand dollar property, where the, where did the money go? So I guess it's in the fund balance. Well, it was that was in 2016-17. Yes, it would be in the it closes property. up to the fund. Yes. They I close didn't up. see it jump over to the next year. I didn't see it around the top. So I'm asking, where did it go? Mm -hmm. So it's got to be a fund balance somewhere, and that's where it's at, I'm assuming. Yes, at the I, end of the year, our revenues I or our expenditures out. close out into our fund balance. I can help you out with that answer. Okay. okay. Uh, I, mean, I just gave you... have seen all of it, where everything goes. Yeah. I'm not seeing it all. For the, uh, the report, the annual report required... Controller's office, and it's public record that you can find it anytime you want to. You can go to it. So the fund balance, the unrestricted fund balance for 2017, which got reported February of 2018, uh, has the fund balance of 696,687. That's the figure that I just gave you. 696,000 more. You said 596 earlier. No, no. Let me say it again. 596,000. Five. 687. Yes. It, in other words, this is what got reported February of 2018. The, the total revenues then, as, as reported to the state controller's office, was a total revenue of 1,759,547. Okay. The fiscal year expenditures exceeded and they're at a million seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand one hundred and twenty-nine. And I've got a copy of that report here, if you wish to look at it. Now, the 2016-2017, which meant got reported February of 2017, uh, had a had an unrestricted balance of. Six hundred and fourteen thousand two hundred and sixty nine. That's six hundred and fourteen thousand two hundred and sixty nine. The uh, fiscal year revenues uh, were reported at a million and fifty eight thousand two hundred and seventy three. This would be the uh, the twenty sixteen reported in February of twenty seventeen. Yes. Every year it, it must be submitted. Expenditures that year, 16, 17? Uh, expenditures uh, they broken down. It, it had uh, sales, ta sales tax revenue was 844,964. Uh, the expenditures for that year were 704,222. That's being read in that report. That's how I. That's how I'm used to seeing budgets like that. I like to see all the. Uh, if I may, President, I'm sorry. All the accounts, anything that belongs to EDC. You know, obviously we didn't know that 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 amount that we have in that that uh what is that that, that account over there, the reserve, and it's kind of hard to even actually see. Or view of the total package here versus uh, when you have an account that we didn't even know about and now we have all this stuff all this February 2017 2016 and then you got 2017 2018 it looks like we don't have the full package here have it all in front of us so we could when we're making these decisions we need to know how much do we have in reserve how much money do we have what are we gonna do what are we what are we expecting to come in you know we need to have all the pieces not that's why I had so many questions and I know that that I was asking uh, finance director uh, Leroy a lot of questions but the same concerns you had uh, half today were the same concerns I had because these were previous budgets and I needed to catch up and learn and understand these budgets Effectively, and right. the only way that I could do that is go back and say okay these economic development corporation reports have to be filed with a state controller's office so there's a breakdown and it's public record and I went back and back and looked and then the only other way that I can 
really account for how much is is in the budget is looking at the checking account for the budget, okay? Uh, I didn't have that information readily available, so I started digging. Okay, now I have it, and, and I've been asking more questions, and, and I've been getting the answers from Leroy. But I agree that it's 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 our hard. Our right now is yeah. for the EDC, for our financials, is we pay the city, right? We pay... So you handle our deal, right, Leroy? Because we're paying whatever. I don't remember what the fee is. Do you guys remember? A service fee. A service There's a fee? service fee that every EDC has the opportunity to engage with the city and work out a, a plan where the finance department gets paid for the services that EDC needs. We're under that. Agreement. We are under that, yes. It's a uh, sum of 1500 a month for, for services, okay? Every month, the EDC pays to the city finance director um, but not, to handle the affairs. Not everything is for finance. It's also for uh, HR services and that is and uh, that is the part and, that is still handled by finance. So, MOU for one time. You remember for a memo of understanding. There is a memo that, that was signed by the city manager on that for for those type of services. And the last one that we added was to include the custodial services. Custodial, financial, human resources, HR. Right. You do the hiring and like- Because you deal with the figures that correspond back to the compensation, to insurances, to all that. And, and that's something that HR and the finance director handle for the city. So that's part of their services. So it's perfect. This is a workshop. This is where we hash all that out and try to get all that information. And if I may, Mr. Gonzalez, there might be a purpose for, for this this uh, budget to be set up this way. Is there a specific reason? Maybe we just have too many questions, or or is there a specific reason why it's set up this way? Because I've seen it like this before. Or That's the way we do the cities, and uh, format. yeah, same format, same, format? same software. Yeah, this is software driven. Question, uh, Mr. President: Is there a reason why you're going off? the grid and looking for these items? Is it not ready available for you? Or why is it that you're going into a public website to look for it versus we haven't it here? We don't have it here? I didn't have those records at EDC. And um, I started digging for records at EDC and they weren't available. Now, that's not saying. Not available. Uh, I couldn't find them. Let's put it this way. Okay. All right. And so I know I'm familiar with the reports that have to be filed with the state controller's office. That's, that's a requirement. And it has to be done every year. So to go back and say, okay, this is, and I added the figures and I looked at the deductions and, and I saw why we were at, at 596, 687 today uh, in, re, in response to why were we at 600 and some thousand before. And it was because of the amount of revenue that was received and then the total of your expenditures that were done. So there was a difference. So that's why it dropped. At, at one point, it was 600 and 600 and some thousand, but it dropped because of the expenditures. So that, that gets filed. That's, that's, that's a good way of looking at it. We even have these records? Yes, in they, file or? they have to be with finance. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a requirement. So which, well, which where I gave the, the, in fact, they prepared the balance these. sheet, what I prepared has 196,000. These records are prepared by finance. Correct. That that goes to the state controller's office. Oh yes. Been doing it, right? So those are your figures. Yeah. So, that is so. correct. Well, the ones that, that he got, they come out of uh, out of your department. <coughs> that's what we report. Okay. Correct. And that's normal. Every. It is a it is a finance requirement to to prepare this document. Okay. It's it's our requirement to make sure it gets filed and reported prior to February or right at February, okay? There has been the last three years. I went back three years and, no, it's, it's been done. It's, it's good. Yeah. The records are not with EDC, yeah. The records would not be with EDC. The financial records would be with the finance department, so. I've got another question on this front page. Uh, two questions, actually. Uh, that one that had the 134,000 deducted 
it has a, a, a line item over here description. It says operating transfer dash EDC and then sale dot 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 dot. <laughs> we just supposed to guess what what's the rest of that sentence? <laughs> well, whatever it is, I think I need, think it needs to be all of it in there. The whatever rest of the sentences. This is all done under a program software called Encode, and uh, in in all so in all of a good description and a good answer for you is they have a limited amount of, of space. space to report. So, so 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 to counter that, when I worked in budget in the past, where you have all these line items and then the little abbreviations next to them, then together you have a whole definition, a sheet of all the definitions of all those line items with a full description of what it is and what it can be done. So that would be helpful as well. Yeah, the key, the description of all of those categories. I believe that, that when your city gets audited, it has all those light items and explanations uh, for the auditors. And you prepare and uh, you get ready for an audit report. The auditors come in and they, they look at that. Available, right? so. You probably have a file. And here's all the definitions of all those line items. But what uh, expenditure categories or whatever. So I mean, it would also be helpful to have here before us. And then the other question I had would be the miscellaneous revenue. What is that? What's the miscellaneous revenue? It's right in the middle there on top. Maybe we got a two thousand or, or nine thousand, or then a fifty thousand. <coughs> okay, it's miscellaneous revenue. Well, uh, the fifty thousand for the director um, gave me that um, when we when we were preparing the budget together, he told me there was, there's fifty thousand dollars coming from uh, I think it was a bank. Is that correct, Marta? Uh, I'm not sure what where. Let, let, let me make sure if I understand his question is what is miscellaneous. So basically, miscellaneous revenue is. You ask the EDC director any other revenue that, that you are expecting. Exactly. And the EDC director tells you, I'm what? expecting possible 50000 50, That would right. be miscellaneous. And in Any this case, case, last or previous director said we were getting 50000 That would be Mr. Villarreal is what gave me this. No, 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 I think there was a reimbursement. It had to do with the, remember that, that line that we uh, laid on the back of the bank? Texas National? Texas National. It had to do with it. It had to do with those numbers. Okay, from EDA. Yeah, oh. well, not EDA coming over this way. It was from the bank. And I remember asking that question, and I believe the answer that was provided was that we needed to check to see if, in fact, the fifty thousand had come in. No, it did not come in. Okay, so that's why in your balance sheet you will see is it's it's a uh, yeah. it's a. Uh, that's important to know. It's a it receivable. Never came in. It didn't even come in. So it was, it was estimated again then. And that's why in the activity column, actual, in my opinion, would be. So this would be estimated again. 50000 and the activity, only $97 came in of the 50000 that we anticipated. Was this, Mr. Arjona, when uh, there was some additional money for, from EDA and we we're trying to figure out where the line was going to be run, the sewer line? You remember some of that conversation? The, the, additional, a, the additional funding is, is not this per se. It was, it was going to cost like another additional 50000 for the bank to, uh, I don't remember, don't remember if it was to extend the water line or the sewer line or something in that regards. So they had to pay us because we're, we were already there. We were already mobilized to do the work. So they were paying us to do that. Well, and then it, it was, I'm not really sure. I don't want to say this is what actually happened when, when the, the person that. Uh, it sounds, it sounds to me it? like somebody needs to look into this, right? I mean, obviously, somebody was under the impression that we were getting $50,000. And I'm glad, Mr. Rojado, that you asked that question because. I do remember some discussion in reference to that. I need to go back and, and double check on that about those fifty thousand, but it was not. And and I quest, I, I mean, I even asked uh, Leroy as to why those items were were placed like that as we were getting the monies in, when that was never the agreement. It was going to be one of those things that we're doing the lines, and uh, but but I, like I said, I, I need to go back and, and ask David how we worked that out. 
remember that there was several options. There was like two, three options was on an how option to run the line due, due to some money we had. Maybe not left over, but some money that, that still could have been used by EDA. And we were exploring different options on how, what, how would best help not just that immediate area, but all the way across the north west side corner of that plaza that needed right. some assistance with but sewers. That, right? that, is, that is not this year. We, we utilize those EDA uh, funding to extend the line all the way to the end of that, uh, what is now gonna be that, uh, the bank. Remember that we had an option going north from where the uh, Lexus now, is at? I, now I remember that we could have even gotten the easement off the expressway, the, right. the, free, the feeder because road. Because it was very close by. Yeah. So we decided to leave it at that point. But that, that is a little bit different. That's something different on those 50,000. I need to ask David, but he's out of town. So as soon as he comes back, I'll ask him what those 50,000 were. But it wasn't that they were giving us the money. I think it was a misunderstanding with with uh, the previous director. But I need to find out on that. I mean, because it's here on our on our estimated revenue. I'm, I'm gonna so that that makes more sense to me. Total budget doesn't make sense to me. I mean, you're, and, 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 no, no, it's total not budget. Budget. Total budget. Total budget. Total budget. Total budget. Oh, that's the reimbursement. So. How did we get reimbursed fifty thousand? Well, we well we didn't get reimbursed at the end of the year. The auditor came in and said, "Okay, the bank owes you this money," so they put it against the receivable, and that's what I was telling Mr. Rodriguez. That's where you'll see it. It's it's a it's a receivable. So, again, looking at this page of all revenue, another thing I would do on that miscellaneous revenue, since. It's always going to be different. And there's no. Def if I asked you for that definitions of all of these categories. The miscellaneous revenue revenue is always going to be different. I would suggest that we put a little legend on the bottom and identify that that miscellaneous revenue as to what it was. Like that two thousand forty four dollars. Does anybody remember what that was? Or the nine thousand six hundred and six. We just know it's miscellaneous. I'd rather say, okay, that was uh, given by Joe Blow, and the other one was whatever, refund from somebody. Wasn't the 2000, uh, so we can know. Well, no, say I know it's in the years past. And, and that's, what's, that, that's what's going on, Mr. Garza, is that we're thinking and not actually knowing, you know, and I'd those are have things. It all out there and yeah, and now we're everything. estimating, we're guesstimating what it is, and what could it be, and couldn't it have been, and now we're here, and in live audience, and we don't have that documentation. Garza, like so, Garza, they used to come and present. So, so again, this is see. just things to consider for the next time we get together. Identify these things if there's a question out there. You know, let's let's be totally transparent with what we got in front right. of us. I agree. Well, I mean, don't you think? I agree, sir. Commissioner. Totally. Okay, because I hate to be lost with when I'm dealing with public monies. I want to know exactly what we're dealing with. At this point, I guess I would request, uh, with the board's approval, to have an explanation, documented explanation of the records that the city holds on how this 50,000 figure appeared and what it, what it was for and whether actually it is a city expense or an actual revenue that's pending. It's on there. We can find out what it was or it is. Those are all the questions I have for this page. I don't want to take all the fun away from you guys. <laughs> but is there anything else? You want to elaborate anything else on that page? So in a nutshell, Mr. Rodriguez, in the end, for this budget workshop, uh, we're estimated for 2019-2020, $930,000. And then we have a proposed of 970000 Right? That's how you have it here. De department request, 930000 at top right. Of that page, when, when the first figures came in, proposed. When the first figures came in, and then you dropped down yeah. to the one thirty-four, one thirty-four. Right, right. But I'm just still looking up here. The two numbers up here, right? These are these are the two numbers we filled in. At the beginning, we put nine thirty, and then okay, we have a better grip. We think it's going to be nine seventy. So that's the number we're going to go with. And then we're this one. We know we have to deduct the one thirty-four. That's a fact. That's not yes. a guess. From the from the nine. So then, so then we're going to be dealing with an eight hundred and thirty-five thousand dollar budget for this year, but we know we have almost six hundred thousand 
in the bank, but we need a little bit more, we can pull it out and add some more there if we needed it, right? Well, if it all comes in the way it's proposed and estimated revenue, we're going to balance out with with the amount that's on here. This will, will be okay. Without, without having to go into any reserve. But we, know that, but we always know yeah. that we, we needed a little bit more money. We yeah. have it over there. I'm, We're not I'm, at zero. We're not I'm, living paycheck to paycheck. You know? I'm hoping <laughs> that we have... We have yes. we I'm hoping that we have money left over on this budget Perfect. to be able to go back into the reserve and, with your permission, transfer that money. Yeah. Okay? And I talked to, to uh, finance director on that, and whether it was general fund, whether it was reserve money on, on the first figures, he said you have a, uh, a reserve fund, which is the amount that we're talking about now that's there. But out of this budget, by the time we close out the budget, which is September 30th, there should be money left over to be able to transfer that amount. You know, we talked about Techstar, and we talked about investments, and we talked about being able to place some money into, into that, that fund balance, that reserve fund balance to draw some interest. So the answer would be that, that, that hopefully by the time we get through with this, we have enough money left over to, to be able to transfer with the permission, with the consent of this board. Okay. Yeah, and that's why I'm keeping real close eye on on the uh, checking account, okay, and all of the payments that that are due. And sometimes I'll get a surprise draw from the amount, and this is when I look for Leroy right away. And I said, "Look, Leroy, I just saw forty-two thousand dollars transferred. What is that? You know, I'm asking the questions. Yes, and I mean this is this is the log sheet for our checking account. Yes, so, I mean all of this. So we, we yes. Be aware of everything. Yes. And and I am looking at, at every single transfer that comes out of the checking account for EDC. Okay. So. But another good practice, this is just a suggestion. I don't know how the board feels about this, but maybe every time that we meet, we see a real simple one page balance sheet. This is our current balance. This is the expenses for this month. This is where we're at. Every time, every time, every time. Financial report. Said that before. Right? The financial report. What I experienced in the past. Uh, on one account, on the ones that they're asking for, for promotional, he shows us that. But I mean, how the whole entire bank account. Even if it's a one pager. I have discussed with city manager Arjona and with Leroy the thought of the need to have the city finance director at least in one of the meetings per month to report on finance. Okay. Yes, and see, is our book. <coughs> Yes. Every month that we close our books, we provide a, a report to the when Martha ever asks to put on the meeting for, for what right. I understand. Thank so, you for that. So it's so always been there. Now, another thing, just so you keep in mind is for the past four years, remember that four years ago, we were in the negative. Minus, I forget what it was, 90 or 80, some thousand. We're in the positive now. So yes, at the end of the year, it's always been that, that uh, leftover monies or surplus monies, so they put them in the fund balance. I wouldn't necessarily touch the fund balance unless it's no, necessary. No, we don't plan on it, but we need, need to, to know that we have that right. money there. Right. Right. To know that we're going in the right. right direction. Right. The fund balance is like the reserves that the city has. If you mess with your reserves, you mess with your credit rating. It messes so up your credit ratings and everything. You want to have more. There. The intent right. was never to, to draw from it, but right. if you have the ability to put money into it and draw some interest on it, then you're far ahead of the game. So we're done with first page, or we got any more questions? Okay, let's go on to the next one, Mr. Rodriguez. All right, second page. That was just all revenues. This next one is salaries. Uh, starts off with salaries and benefits, and um, that's expenditures. Uh, expenditures, yes. And um, you see the uh, the proposed <laughs> budgets, and and again, they're proposed. They're not actually proposed. You have people really on staff, and this is what they will be receiving. Uh, for the coming year. The only thing that changed there was uh, the presentation of a need for $12,000, which you approved in the last meeting, as not being assigned without any consent of this board. It was to have an amount that if the board wanted to give a pay raise, it was there, or it would be on a line item and visibly on the amount. It doesn't mean the amount will be spent, but that would be the, the, the area that this board would consider. Or part of it can be spent if yes. we want to down the road. Yes. 
and if we don't want to, it just stays there. So That's you're just putting it there so we can have money. You don't have to go back into and dip into the reserves. That is correct. Okay. And then you go into the overtime, which there is no overtime for this year. Uh, there's no money that was allotted or even placed on the amount. The the figure was at 174342 plus the Social Security, plus the health insurance, plus the employee retirement, plus uh, there is no auto allowance, but it goes into another category for mileage. Um, I would be the only one drawing an auto allowance, which is part of the contract, and it's what it's, which is part of the money that is being taxed because I'm a recipient of a car allowance. That money gets taxed as well. Um, and it goes into the workman's compensation insurance, et cetera. And you can see that the category 10 indicates salaries and wages and benefits total and come down to 203,271. Now, 103,271. Yes, that's category 10 on page right. two. Okay. Category 10. Yes. So go to the left on 19. We had 195,414. But the activity was only 133. Why? Why doesn't? Shouldn't that number be exactly the same? And then the prior year also was 147 and then 112. Well, if you recall, um, is it because we, of we didn't have the director vacancies? Is that is that what's a, yes? That's what I'm assuming. So it's just a vacancy that occurred, and that's why there was a gap, right? Yes. Mine's yeah, we don't pay it out. Back to our reserves. Right. I mean, that's what assuming happened. So every year to 17, 18, and 19, I guess we've never had a complete year with employees that lasted the whole year. Just so that we can learn from that. And I believe that under let's, this. Let's, let's, yeah. let's provide a goal for ourselves yeah. and let, make that number stay constant because that will be progress for us, guys. Under the same area of MA, it, there was a certain amount of money that was paid to the city manager for the acting position. But uh, it doesn't it, come from there. Yeah. It does It was being but, paid from the city. So yeah. the, it was the budget, or it wasn't, no, no, I, I'm mistaken. It wasn't, right? But that wasn't the salary that was allotted. That is not from here. We didn't use that money, right? Yeah. It's, a, it's a couple of things. One of them is the previous uh, directors, I guess, and then with the addition of that other employee. So you may, you, you may see that other gap in there. No, about the other employees, so I can't answer that. So yeah, no, the new lady that that the uh, Laura, okay, because she joined us in the middle of the year. But previously, we've never had one, two, three, four employees. No, had them prior to the 2016-17. Yes, they were. Okay. So we saved. Yeah, we're saving money every time, but oh. <laughs> We save some. Uh, I'm starting. Uh, from yeah. That's not a good way to save money. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear on that, uh, overtime, there's no overtime on, on the uh, line item. No overtime. No, no overtime at all. Yeah. Uh, so, right. So it's all zero, zero, 0,819, but zero you, expended. Uh, yeah, I had to that clarify that for you just a few minutes ago. And right. I indicated there's no overtime. So. Okay. Careful with them. On the overtime. Go ahead, Mr. Rodriguez. Right. Go ahead to <clears throat> category 20. All right. That uh, um, falls under what we talked about, accounting and auditing services. So that's, it's 24500 and that uh, is aimed at that and to capture that. And uh, then it goes, yes. And then legal services. Legal services. Is at 54000 Which is what we started with in 18 and 19, but we only paid out 36. Uh, is that because there was a gap too? Or because we paid, we paid, there was an increase. The legal fees were increased. How did we end up short? Because I remember Gilbert was like at 3,000 and always went up to 4,500 with Jesse. So there was some gaps there. That's what happened. Uh, the other area is professional services, and that included the consultants and uh, 
you had asked for an increase to 72,000. It was at 36, and you asked to double that. It was at 58 in, in amount. So the difference between the 58 and the 72 is the increase. Okay, that's why we had 150. I was wondering about what had happened there. Yeah. So that's just in case we decide to use more services. We that's have correct. The money there in your bank. You, you asked me to look for other other services. That's correct. I'm looking for other services, which will come before you, and it's, it's, you'll be able to consider that. Excuse me, on the legal, the last billing that we got was through May. May, so May. you still need June, July, and August, and September. Those the last May? billing was through May. Como... <laughs> I don't remember. They, they that. have not billed us for 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 the month of. Uh, but quarterly. So when that billing comes in, then. Again. When was your election? <laughs> it was May. It was May. Okay. June. Okay, then you're right. June, July, and August. Yeah. No, June. I signed a check in June. June, June was the last one. June fourth was it. Was the date, but it was for services. It, but it was for, for services for May. Gotcha. Thank you for that. Okay. Okay. The other category thirty is just uh, the regular maintenance bills and things, and and that are necessary. The only difference was that changed was travel and training at the bottom, which is twenty four five seventy one five five zero zero. It had gone down to to seventeen under the original write up. And I indicated that I needed it to go back up to 19,000, and you approve that. So it's now showing the change of 19,000 to for travel and training. Okay. And all travel and training will be subject to approval, you know, by this board. It, it right. won't be anything, an outrageous travel just because someone wants to travel. It'll be of a, a necessity or requirement for for such training. Uh, H3, advertising. This was another area that had gone down to 5,000, as you can see, under the 2019-20. Uh, uh, and I asked to be to let me raise that because I wanted to do a lot of advertising for, for the city, for EDC, and for, for being able to draw additional business in. Okay? And I asked for an additional 5,000 to bring it up to 10,000 again. And so that was approved, and, and it's there. Everything else pretty much remains the same uh, until you go down to, to promotional expenses. I needed to draw 5000 into advertising, and I needed to find a category because at the first uh, look at the budget, we had balanced, and, and we needed to find an area that could give us 5000 that would go up to uh, to the uh, advertising. So the promotional expenses were at 98000 and I requested that the finance director, uh, Mr. Gonzalez, uh, it, it was at 98000 before. So but, 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 we but we only spent 44000 Well, that's what it says, year-to-date activity. Pero pues ya no más que un mes. So this is where we pay all those those uh, people the, that we give uh, donations to, right? There's a lot of money that comes out but of that. But when you're giving us the balance, you didn't show us that we still had $50,000 left. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Well, that's what's throwing me off, because here we're calling it promotional expense. and That'll, that'll show up. Could, could we do subcategories then? There's the next page, sir. Next page. Okay. Oh, got unused. Which one? Add, okay, sponsorships. So it's 10,000 as a sponsorships. Okay. No, no, because now I know. Because I said, we didn't, we didn't have 98,000 in sponsorships. You wanted line items and you have line items, so. Perfect. How many we throw in there? How many we give? But thousand. That's why ninety-eight thousand doesn't sound like that. A lot. That detail there is ninety-three thousand. It's what he's proposing for the uh, nineteen twenty. Sorry.
sorry, Leroy, again? 93,000, sir. I, 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 it's not 98, it's 93. Oh, it's 93? It's 93. That's what he's proposing. Oh, for this upcoming year, but, but yes. it was 98 this past year. Yes, okay. correct. So we went down a little yeah. bit. Since, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Pardon my ignorance. I understand a little bit now. Okay. And you have the mini grants there. You you have, I guess the discussion was before the city event, Dia de los Muertos, and uh, that was not there before. Um, there was discussion. So 5,000 up here. It's, again, it's proposed. It's, it's your vote and your decision on the amounts. Where's that one at? Page uh, four. Fourth of July. You knew we done that. Oh, I'll see it then. It's a new event? From my understanding, it's, gonna, it's a big event. Dia de los Muertos. It's going to be a new event. First it's, one, no? It's the, uh, are we in collaboration with, with, with the, the church or what? The church. It's, it's uh, the church, the city, uh, and the school district. district. Right. They're going to be cooperating with us. It's and the EDC. Event. And, and the EDC. EDC. Yes. Now, uh, it's not. Uh, hey go out together. Who's uh, spearheading this, this event? Basilica. Basilica? Yes. And right now, there is... Do you have a date? November, right after uh, Halloween. 11. And right now, the sponsorship is, is being looked at. Employee uh, Laura Rodriguez uh, is looking at ways, of trying to pick up sponsorship, working directly with the city on that. And she has been tasked with this to... Kind of like the... Like we put money in an account, we don't need to spend it. It can stay there. Maybe we can offset that. If we raise it, we don't have to spend it. That sponsorships, you can offset it, meaning that you don't have to spend this. It can actually come back to our coffers. Yeah. Which is the duties of the specialist, correct? I'm sorry? Yes. Which is the duties of the uh, project specialist. Project specialist has been assigned to do that. And, and really push the bill. Th this is what she's doing. Okay with the city All right. and she's attending meetings with the city on these events so that she can be apprised of everything that is discussed and yes okay all right move on to other special expenses the only other changes go down if you would to uh, budget detail <clears throat> this is where you have uh, the projects, the special projects, one of which is the very first one reached 2019-01-P2-3. That would be second payment of three payments, okay? Um, and that would be Pueblo Tires, which is already in service, and uh, prior agreements were for payment in, uh, in let me see, in the February. Pueblos, Denny's or no? Yes, it's on there. It's the next one. That and special projects account, the hundred and forty thousand. Uh, That's the one you're talking about. No, no. Uh, this no. is page uh, page four, page four, and it is the hundred and forty thousand budget detail, budget code, and it's got proposed, 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 uh, and it's got description. It's got twenty nine. The first one is twenty nineteen dash zero one dash p two dash three. That corresponds to Pueblo Tires. That was a project. Pueblo Tires is in business, they're open, uh, but there had been a 380 agreement on how payments were going to be made. And uh, one payment was due in in February. Um, it still has not, not been done. And there's another one that will be due in um, September, I believe. Yeah, September. <coughs> so out of that amount, it's Pueblo Tires is actually, it says 10000 uh, for whatever reason, the payment was not made in, in February. That was 10000 and they're due another payment for this new fiscal year. So we have to come up with 20000 10000 off the existing budget and 10000 for the for the next year's budget, fiscal Fair, year. no? We have yeah. it in the budget right now. Yes. Okay. Yes. So so the way you did this, because I, I said uh, this is the 140000 that you have at the far right, and that's, that's it right there. All of this is 140000 and you have now you broke it down. The way you broke it down there is the way we would like to see the other stuff, too. Okay. Like miscellaneous. 
Everything yeah. else that doesn't make sense, break it down with a description like that. You're telling us it's Pueblo Tires, 10,000, and whoever else. What's the next one? 30,000. I have one question. You mentioned February. I wasn't, I don't remember if I was on the board back then or, or not, but I do recall there being some questions in reference to applications with Pueblo Tires. Back then, everything we fixed was all that. Fixed. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. We fixed all that. Okay. I've got the documentation here. I can go over it with you if you so no, no, desire. No, that's fine. That's fine. I just, I just had to know. make it right, man, because okay. Stalin scandal man. Okay. You have the Denny's project, and that has a a thirty thousand. Um, yes. And then the other project is the one that's pending right now. It's it's not on an approved three eighty agreement yet. It's one next week should be. Right. Yes, that'll be. We're on hold pending Project what Square. the city's going to do. Project Square. That would yeah. be yeah, three that. payments of Project Square. Yeah. Of 50. And okay. yes, and this would be, if it was made, it would be the first. But um, mm -hmm. we haven't, the city and NEDC is working on that, trying to decide what the 380 uh, agreement must contain, the language. And we talked about it in the last meeting. And. Uh, and Attorney Palacios is reviewing the language for that, but we still don't have it. Once she has it, then we'll bring it up for discussion again. What's the unused project? Unused projects is what's going to be left for any possible projects that, that I can develop or you will that's approve. That's what we'll have to work with this year. Yes. That's our, that's our leverage. That's our leverage, that's yes. That's our account right yes. there. 50000 to work with for this year. And then you go back to page eight, and you will see across the the same figure of 2019-2020 proposed, with the expenses totaling to 835,892, and that is everything that's been discussed. Everything that has been discussed, and and a bal balanced budget, and we're balanced with right. that. Our revenues and our expenditures. One more thing that uh, I know that I've asked uh, to ask Mr. Rodriguez. I don't know whether she got. We're going to go seek sponsors and then replenish those monies. However, you want to do it. Or do you want? To you guys can do it by yourself. We'll just watch you guys. Well, we're, we're hoping that we can say EDC. <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy an ornament. <laughs> what I had discussed. No, 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 no. You do have EDC. The project specialist working if, on if it. If I may, yeah. This is what I'd like to discuss with you, and this is what I informed Mr. Ahona as well. Uh, the project specialist is assigned full time to this and, yeah. and to be able to come up with sponsorship. So Let's put it this way. EDC money. If, if they gain, if they gain more than the need that's on here by the sponsorship that the employee, the project specialist brings, goes to the city. But and but it would not. Uh, Correctly, you guys are not going to participate with the, as far as the purchase of the Christmas tree. We'll put the project specialist on it. No, no, I'm talking about the project specialist. I'm talking about the money. I didn't, I didn't hear the question. Uh, what I'm saying is. How much is it? Do you know? It's what you... 22000 22000 Yes. We're paying half. The city proposal was we're paying half. They didn't say we pay half. So, so we could budget eleven, but we think our project specialist could sell 11000 in well, sponsorship. But it's got to be here in, 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 in paper. But what I'm saying is if she brings in 11000 in sponsorships, it offsets it? It will be offset. So, so what you're asking is right now, so we, I'm taking care of right now the 11000 Right. That's that's our goal. Ben, I'm more than sure it's gonna bring in more than ben you, what you're talking about? Okay, we we put it on paper. Yes. The twenty-two thousand, and if no, no, we bring no. this, if, 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 if a cal Laura brings in thirty thousand, twenty-two thousand goes to you, no, or no, one, I mean, sorry, eleven. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, eleven thousand right. goes to you. Eleven, eleven. And we offset. It'll be offset. The only thing is, it needs to be in black and white, so that when we make a payment, then we know where to get it from. You know the monies. 
to have a budget. Right. So we need a line item there. Yes. If the EDC wishes to participate. Right. Let the first talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say that. All right. <laughs> no, no. No, look, can you go pay <laughs> it's not the first time. Put it on. <laughs> it goes to uh, That went 11,000. Uh, what do you want it to show as Christmas tree? Put it as Christmas tree. Set some goals for Miss Laura for a reason. Mr. Rodriguez, you better make sure you time. get Laura on it. <laughs> On the sponsorship. No, I keep she asking her produce. every day. Okay. That's what she's got to do. And on task, I'm one not, per I'm day. Not tasking her with one anything per else day. That. All the way to McAllen. Alonso, alguien? Se moche? ¿Cuánto le va a costar? DHR? So just for the, just for clarity, uh, on the stadium, <laughs> on this line item. You want it to read as Christmas tree, and you want it to read 11,000. Yeah. In the event that the project specialist comes up with 15,000 on sponsorship, then we're good. Okay. Comes up with 11, we're good. If she comes up with 10, then we pay one. That's that's all right. Okay, so you do it that way. I was same thing. I was figuring the total expenditure is 22. Anything over the twenty-two, we go well, half this, and half. Well, this this kind of sounds. Pay Mr. 11, Lee, gonna pay this so kind of sounds. We're gonna put eleven on our budget. The reason why I'm saying this is because she fell through, like you said, doing some work, right? No, we work city for the EDC. <laughs> no, no, correct. But I will. I don't have her doing anything else except sponsorship right now because well, sponsorship is for that event. Is what I'm saying. Yes. So it, it includes the city. Let me. Now, let me just, just say that uh, yes, she does work for the EDC. However, when the job description was put together, as you may recall, it had to do with cooperation with the city as far as the city projects, the city events, and so on and so forth. Yes. So, Liaison. If, uh, right. This one. So, so let's say. Yeah, but, but that decision is made by Mr. Rodriguez as his immediate supervisor. Am I wrong? Yeah. And, you know, and we're not saying any of that. I mean, we're not taking any of that away. What I'm saying is. When, when that position was created, it's not necessarily just working directly for the EDC. It was having to work with the seed events, having to do with the, any, anything that had to do with seed events. It would be, it'll be her, her role, her lead. Patrick and Ruben and all them working on stuff. And I do understand that she had with them as far as right. getting on the same page. Now, if, if it's a- The best way to understand this, Mr. Horner, is saying that everything that the city, any functions that the city does, EDC is involved anyways. Exactly. Gotcha. So, if let's say there's eleven thousand dollars from the from the EDC, eleven thousand from the from the city, she brings in let's say twelve. Is it going to be the EDC first and then the city? Yes. So you're saying the thirty-eight. I just want to split the thirty-eight thousand salary half and half. <laughs> that was not the agreement. Okay. <laughs> you know. Just just for clarity, look, uh, I understand you need eleven thousand for a Christmas tree. When I say that the project specific right now is for her to try to get as much sponsorship, other events are going to come up. This is not limited to her only to the Christmas tree. We're talking about the amount of money to be raised for the Christmas tree. And I understand that. We, we, we have the uh, Christmas tree, Noche de Paz. At the same time, we're going to be working with the Dia de los Muertos. At the same time, we're working with the Halloween. So there's going to be so many events working at the same time. I'm not, yes. It's not going to be necessarily just for... Christmas trees or anything like that. It's going to be all of these working together. Now, the trick is going to be how do we funnel the monies? Reimburse the EC, reimburse the city back. That's going to be where the trick is going to come into play. Eleven thousand, and Laura brings in eleven thousand. She brings in fifty thousand. Well, I thought I thought that was well. well I thought that's how I understood you, uh, Mr. When I thought that's what I understood from you uh, when we had the last meeting that if she would offset the EDC, so that means that I wasn't under the impression if she would bring the eleven thousand, that goes to you guys. She brought it through the EDC. That's our sponsorships. We're out. We don't have to dish anything out. That's my impression. I might have I'm misunderstood. If you can correct me. I think at the end of the day, um, whatever money she brings in, the, my understanding was split. 
play. So she brings the 11. It's half and half. And then we just cover the difference between city. Right. Is that what you're trying to tell right. me? Right. That's what I'm trying to say. So it may not cost us 11. It may cost us 5,000. It may cost us four. So she we would have know. to bring 22,000 to cover both the city and. <coughs> That's she's not solely the only one. Well, I didn't understand what was. Is there anybody uh, else helping her? Uh, well, that's that's that was the uh, the way that the way that we try to sell it. Now there's already interest, more than eleven thousand, more than twenty thousand, and people trying to sponsor. So, but then again, thousand dollar star, right? That'll give, that'll give yeah, that'll give us ten and ten. Mejor me pongo yo arriba. That only could bring us, I don't know. <laughs> Any money, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I don't, I don't, um, I, I don't understand. I got to be careful here in my, myself here. Uh, I feel like um, we have an executive director. He has staff and he needs to make sure he puts them to best fit EDC. That's, that's my position in this. I mean, I, I really don't want to start directing staff what to do how and how that's divided so my positions here is well there's no contract it's a job description job description is in the job description yes actually she's designated as liaison to the city and it's a tough position to be in with, I mean, to have one boss is hard, but to have two, you, I mean, I, 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 I would be in a tough position to be in having to be pulled, give directors, get receive directive from here, receive directive from here. And that's they tough. can come up with $145,000 in sponsorship that takes away $145,000 from leaving the EDC budget. That's the way I'm looking at it. So, Noche de Paz and the Dia de los Muertos and all that. And in no way, shape, or form, I'm trying to be the supervisor, Mr. Contreras. You know, it just workable. You can work with that. I'm willing to work with it. Just this is the way we're going. Now. If she, if she comes up with enough money to cover a lot more of these events, hey, I'm either going to have to out of the EDC budget come up with this money. If she comes up with the money, equal to the money or, or half of the money, then that's half that we would that right. Now, just remember, this is just for promotional. We're promoting the city. You know, that's that's bottom line what it is. Up with 200000 in sponsorship, I'm not going to object if it all goes to the city. Well, and, and we can put it aside so the next fiscal year. It's not going to be as, as much. Well, absolutely. Needed. That's what Mr. Contreras just said. If we raise more, say, on this event for the Christmas tree, say she brings in 50 grand, and our commitment one was 11 and 11, the now, remainder, just, let's use it for the other events. Just know, remember, this is not only the star that we're going to be trying to sell or, or no, getting sponsors else. from. We got the uh, the ornaments are going to be huge. We realize maybe, that. Yeah. But that's the, the, the train of thought here is to offset the other expenses for the other events that are coming up if we raise additional money. Okay. Start seeing norms like that here with both our EDC and our right. city. A norm to where we start doing things like that. We have a surplus because once established itself and it's a good event sponsorship, it continues to roll over. The next time they're going to want to sponsor again and we just build on that kitty there. For I agree with her. I'm more right. sure the Parks and Recreation is also involved in this, right? Yeah. So they got some sponsors They're coming in. Sponsors. We got some. Laura um, may have some. There may be the same. Well, you see, so that, that, that total that they're bringing in from the city as well is going to be equated not to just, well, Ms. Rodriguez brought in the 50. Oh, and, I, uh, 50 that, it's going to be tallied up with, with, with right. the city. Right. I, I got a question, Mr. Juan. the number that was slipped. I got a question. The, okay. Laura brings 50,000. Let's, well, let's, let's go back. She brings 10,000. 5,000 EDC, 5,000 cities. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Let's say Laura doesn't bring anything. Ruben brings in 20,000. 10,000 EDC, 10,000 city? That is correct. All, 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 if, yes, it's, no. if it's for the Christmas tree, yes. Okay. That, that's, okay. So between, I'm more, between all of us, we're going to be even myself. All right. 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 Right.
They're going to bring Yes, I'm not just saying whatever we'll Lana offset. brings. Yeah. We'll be offset. It'll okay. be total team we'll effort, not only one person. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. I'll be in full agreement that I agree with you. It doesn't have to be sponsorship from the city alone. If the project specialist can seek sponsorship from other cities for this event, then we're going to let her travel, okay? Yes, so sir. She By will not be held back and limited to only some line. No, no, no. She is I got Bogus, Home Depot. I know. Oh, got yeah. Spikes Motors. Got <laughs> right. La Courthouse, the County <laughs> Clerk's <laughs> Office. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, is it's partial recreation on myself that we initially started this and then once we get into it then we get some other staff members to start Astro working us out. Uh, Parson Rick Parson only has two two people maybe three people I'll, I'll, start, I'll throw it in. Parks and Rec. Start, start, ask for 20 and, and settle on the <laughs> With the city, right. It's Parks and Recreation, but then I got uh, sanitation, then I have uh, utilities, whom we deal with a lot of big uh, vendors that can always sponsor us. Settle, what else? This is, this is the budget. Anything then that I have to clarify, and we'll get together with the city and clarify the $50,000 is it coming in? Was it due to come in? And, and I'll clarify that on the 50000 but uh, we'll get it for the next meeting. You know, I'll get some of that clarification. We're going to put this on the agenda for approval. I'd like right? to get it as first reading, yes. Right. So you want to do oh, so first reading or I'd, next meeting? I'd like to get it on the third as first reading. So we need okay. to get clarification. I need it by, no, yes, I need it by the, uh, the last meeting in September, which is... 27 or 24? First meeting would be, the first reading of the budget would be September the 3rd. The second and final reading of the budget would be September 17th. And we're in full compliance of having to do this before. Yes. So the 3rd and the 17th. Okay. And I'll work I'm, on. I need it. I need it. Information. Yes, I need it approved by the 27th because that's when I'm going to present it to the uh, city commission. September 3rd, that's first reading. And by then you'll have something on the 50000 for it. We should. All right. As long as I get it on the 3rd, before the 3rd, actually, so we can get it on the final reading a few days from now. Okay. There's no action required then, right? Or you want action that to have the first reading the next week, or how do you want to do that? No action. No action? It's just a budget. It's not a workshop deal. Okay. Then no action. We'll move on to item B. It's discussion. Uh, regard. It says and regarding, so I'm assuming it's discussion regarding a proposed projects for the fiscal year. We just did that as well. Pick up the word and. So we just did that, so we're done. We got a motion to adjourn. So we'll again. Got a motion and a second. second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed same sign. This meeting is now adjourned. Thank you.